if I <clears throat> if I could only have one prime lens for my Sony a7 II or for any of my full frame cameras, that would be this lens right here. This is the Sony 50mm f1.4 G Master. And I got like 50 reasons why. Just kidding. Just 5 reasons. Anyway. Before anything else, I would like to officially welcome you to my channel. Thank you for making it past the intro. If you are into cameras, gadgets, technologies, all that good stuff, please do subscribe and hit that bell if you haven't yet. In that case, you won't miss out on anything from this channel. By the way, full disclaimer, I am not sponsored by Sony. How I wish, they did not pay me to make this review so you can expect unbiased, honest, and truthful review video. Having that out of the way, let's dive right into the topic. Reason number one is its size and weight. This lens, compared to its kind, is very compact and portable. To be honest, it's one of the main reasons why I personally picked this over the f1.2. It stands just like a regular Funko Pop and it only weighs 516 grams. Yet, it still has everything on it, like the focusing ring, the aperture ring, AF MF switch, iris lock switch, click on and off switch, and two customizable buttons. Really a professional level lens. By the way, if you're wondering why portability matters, like why I always say that all the time, that is because, in my opinion, you could have the best performing lens in terms of optics, etc. But if you can't bring it or carry it with you when you travel or when you go outside, then what's the point? And believe me, when you travel, you would want the lightest gear or the lightest setup possible. Logistics, people. Logistics. And that's why I always say that portability matters. Yeah. And that's why I really, really love the size of this lens. Especially on my Sony A7C Mark II. They're like meant for each other. You know what I'm saying? Believe me, it's so convenient bringing this pretty much everywhere. Great job, Sony. As for the filter thread size, it has a 67mm diameter. It's a very common filter thread diameter so you won't have a hard time using lens filters on it. How amazing is that? Reason number 2 is its incredible autofocusing performance. Like come on, it's a prime, native, top of the line lens so you can expect no less. In any case, let's dive right into the YouTube mandatory autofocusing test. By the way, if you reach this part and still not yet a subscriber, could you give me some love by doing that already? Subscribe and hit that notification bell. That would really mean the world to me. So, thank you. Back to the video. Reason number three is it's a versatile focal length. Just for fun, I googled it. I just typed in 50mm focal length and this is what I found. The 50mm focal length provides a field of view similar to that of the human eye resulting in images that feel instinctively realistic and familiar. I cannot agree more to that. As a matter of fact, that explains why shooting with it feels so natural. And probably that's also the reason why I find it easy to frame the subject and compose my shot using this lens. Hence, you can expect that I use it for any type of shoots, like for real. Even for videos, it is as flexible. 
This is what it looks like if you use it for talking head videos. It looks pretty decent and again and again, natural. This is what it looks like if you use it for product showcasing or something. Look at that background separation. Super duper cool. And this is what it looks like if you use it for vlogging. I won't personally use it for such but yeah. Nonetheless, you can use it for a whole lot of things. Like a whole lot. Because just like what Google said, realistic and familiar. Yeah. Reason number four is it's whopping f1.4 maximum aperture. Hence, you can expect this lens to deliver great outputs. Like it can really separate the subject from the background. So if you are into creamy bokeh effect in your shots, look no more. This lens is more than capable and reliable. Not only that, it can also perform even in low light situations. Again and again, thanks to its f1.4 maximum aperture. Great job, Sony. Finally, reason number five is its minimum focusing distance. For those who don't know yet, minimum focusing distance is the shortest possible distance of the subject to the camera sensor in which it can still nail a perfect sharp focus. And guess what? This lens has only 0.41 meter minimum focusing distance. That's relatively short. Thus, perfect for close-up shots to get that extra details of the subject. Kinda like a macro shot. Kinda like. This is very ideal for product showcasing or something. And since I do a lot of that, you can bet it's a big deal for me. Like for real. By the way, I have recently reactivated my affiliate links. So if you are interested in the gear that I use for photography, videography, for making contents in general, you can head over to the description box below. Yeah, thanks in advance. But that's it, ladies and gentlemen. As for a conclusion, if there's one thing I don't like about it much, that is its price. Because by the time this video is made, the price of this lens is not so affordable for a single piece of glass, but for what it offers, still, I'll keep it for sure. There you go, folks. I am sure I wasn't able to cover everything, so let me know your thoughts in the comment section or we can connect on Instagram or on Facebook. Once again, this video is not sponsored by Sony, how I wish. They did not pay me to make this review video, so yeah, unbiased and honest opinions. As I end, if you're getting value from this video, please do like and subscribe for more not super technical, but rather practical approach to gadgets and technologies. Until then, thank you for watching. This lens is very compact and lightweight. This lens, this lens compared to other 50 millimeter is very compact. This lens compared to its kind, it's very lightweight and portable. Ah, this lens, this lens compared to its kind, it's very. This lens, compared to its kind, is very compact and portable. Huh. This lens, compared to its kind, is very compact. This lens, compared to its kind. This lens, compared. This lens, co this lens, compared to its kind, is very compact and portable.